That's the only ones I can remember right now. I could be wrong. Well, you probably seem like my Andrew Lemon and Brandon Hunter stuff because they've been there before and I recorded them. Then there's my good friend, friend. Well, you know, he's from, he's the auctioneer. If my good friend, I mean, he doesn't, he's just a fucking excellent dude. He does stuff for charity. He does stuff for normal auction. He's a fucking excellent dude. You ever get this stuff? You ever go to Orderfest, Orderfest Aurora? You see this, man? You fucking shake his hand saying, I fucking love what you do, man. I applaud you. I especially applaud the stuff you do for the auction. Because he does not give two fucking shits. If you're this, this, or this. He'll make fun of you either fucking way. Target. Me and my friend, we really don't give a rat's ass. But, uh... It's also fun. Uh, I'm trying to think now. That'd be Greg's turret. Oh, uh, let's see. Fucking midget. Excuse me. You know, I'm really trying to think of all the other people that have been there. First year for Aurora. Santa and Marika K. I s I've said some stuff that, like I said, like a show he's been in that. I've seen a lot of the episodes. And like I said, I watched it online. He's like, all right. If you're wondering about some stuff Sam Vincent was in, he was in, uh, Martin Mysteries at Annette. He was Atherin fucking Zala from Gundam Seed and Gundam Seed Destiny. Now they can get Matt Hill here. That'd be really excellent, because that's, uh, Ed. From Ed and Eddie, and it's also, uh, Kira Yamat. Oh? From uh, Gundam Scene, Gundam Scene Destiny. Awesome. I still like to see some more people from there. Actually, some of the people from there, like from Gundam Wing, went to go uh, over to Gundam Scene and Gundam Scene Destiny. And then Gundam, Gundam Double O. God damn, I cannot fucking talk! Let's see, I met, well, I met one person from uh, Horror and Ice, or in High School Host Club. And I may also be up for different anime series. I brought some old stuff that people have never seen in a long time, like Glenn Rick is saying, I didn't know this was out. Cosmo Stigma. Kenichi. Like for the guy that did uh Sekirin and Toshi Tachimaru's voice. Like everyone's bringing all this stuff he's done in like uh Gluttony, so on, so on, so on. And it's like I'm different, I'm saying, here's Kenichi, here's Cosmo Sigma, sign them. It's like, fuck, I haven't seen these in a while. I sort of find stuff that people, like the old stuff, they been in. Uh, if I have it, I bring it saying, here, you haven't seen this in a while. You voice this, so on, so on. But it's really fun. Like, I know I'm friends with a lot of voice actors. Not going to say who they are. Let's see, I'm trying to think. Oh, yeah, they also have Carolyn Day. We've had Lucas Gilbertson, Scott Roberts, I think. I could be wrong on that one. You never really know. But still, lots of fun. All these people like saying, oh, we gotta treat them this way and all that. They're just normal people. They just do different things than we do. Treat them like how you how you'd want me treated. Treat them like a normal person. They're saying, oh, we gotta be put up on a pedestal. They may do good work, like, with voice acting and that. But they keep fucking saying they're just normal people. Just treat them how you would want to be treated. Treat them like a normal human being. Let's see. We do this and this and this. Well, you know what I mean? Like, saying, we do this, so on, yada, yada, yada. Like, they are just normal people. They're, they just do something really fucking cool. Plus, I gotta talk to a bit of them. They're fucking excellent. Like, I gotta talk to Kirby and I've gotta talk to Brad. 
two people from Gundam Wing that I love and adore. I'm saying, like, oh, yeah, yeah. But I love it, or I mean, their characters, Troll Barn and Catra. I fucking love those two. One of my favorites. Which I haven't, they haven't brought in a while. Well, by a while, they haven't brought it all I want them to be there. Just fucking shake his hand saying, you've done excellent work. I love what you've done with this, this, and this, and this. A lot of stuff you've done, it's made me feel better about when I was feeling a bit depressed, so on. Man, no one gets depressed. Like, everyone gets depressed. Certain things bring them out of depression. For me, it was anime. Anime made me feel... Like, made me come out of sort of... De like, not bad depression, but you know what I mean? Like, feeling really shitty about myself. Well, I did feel real shitty saying... I found, like, anime on, on like, cartoon stuff, like, on YTV. Because I'm in Canada and saying... What the hell is this? I started watching. And I was like... Oh my fucking god. This is excellent. It made me sort of come out of my shell a bit more. Make me feel happier, not make me feel really sad and all that. And something I've stuck with for a long time because for anime it's made me happy and I love how it's done that. Instead of like making me all sad and depressed. <laughs> Start crying. Which I'm sort of grateful for. Let's go turn some more missions. As I check the time for what... Uh, how much time I have left for my recording, which isn't that much. But still, I'm happy that I discovered anime. It's, it's really fucking cool. Me and my friend bond over it a lot. We laugh. We make fu stupid jokes about it, and it's fun. Plus, I met some cool voice actors because of it. Which I really love. That's cool people because of it. Maybe people at the club I go to. The, like, Yukio Club, because I do play Yukio still, and I don't care what people think. Well, people, we talk about anime. We talk about manga. We talk about video games. We talk about Yu-Gi-Oh! It's so much fun. It's because of that stuff that I've discovered it. I'm happy about all this stuff. I really don't care what people think. They can think what they want because in the end, your opinion is the only one that matters. No matter what everyone else is like, oh, you're this and this. Or you be your cousins or your cousins, your brothers, your sisters, your stepbrothers, your stepsisters, your aunt, your uncle, whatever. In the end, your opinion is the only one that matters. Which means, I like anime. If anyone doesn't understand, oh well, I still love it. I always will. I have lots of friends that still love it. Let's go collect some more journals. Uh, but I have seen some really bad at me like what the fuck am I watching okay this will give me nightmares for a bit I watched a couple like that and I do not want to name them you'll know when you see them there's some fucking funny ones where me and my friends just laugh our asses off some from the auction I go to every year I buy them because they're, they have the auctioneer stamp stamp of approval yeah, I can talk. They're awesome. I love all this stuff. Like I said, people look at me weird like saying, Oh, you like anime? That's for the kids. No. Cartoons are for kids. Anime is for teens and up. If you don't believe me, go watch this. and saying, Okay, I believe you now. It's for teens and up. Cartoons are for kids. As we go back and look for... I can't remember what we were looking. I had more voice recorders. <sighs> Gate 43 on Pandora. At least 
I believe it to be the 43rd day I've been here. The moonlight cycles are difficult to get used to. The planet rotates. Oh, that's right. Voice from an old, old cartoon. I knew a man who knew a man who knew a man who did this, this, and this. I think it was a really old, cool cartoon called. Oh, what the fuck was it called? It was called Freaky Stories. I could be wrong, but I think that's what it was called. Yeah, I couldn't tell. <coughs> I sat in the shower in tears for just under an hour. This is interesting, considering we haven't had water. Oh, huh, so you made a discovery. That's I good for you, Patricia. Yeah, Patricia Tannis. With the investigation of the symbols and glowing patterns. Hey, hey, hey! Be nice now. Unearthed arguably certifiable proof of the existence of alien life having been here on Pandora. Yeah, you never understood a whole bunch of stuff. As, As you can see, I'm running, 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 running. <laughs> well, still, probably in some other later videos, I'll share a bit more on all that for anime. Because if you saw, saw my shelf, and I'll be like, what the fuck? Because I have one, two, three, four, five, six, well, about four and a bit shelves for my DVD rack. And two full things of for my bookcase. I fit about six or seven. Wait, one. And I put another shelf, and I could put put fit about four more in. So I bring it up to six, seven, eight. So I'd be twelve. So that means twelve, six on one side, six on the other. And stuff behind my computer. That'd be about. Uh, that'd be about five more. So that'd be about seventeen things I've had anime. It's like, whoosh! I took stuff from my other thing. I have about twenty-one things of anime. If I did do all my bookshelves. Or seen. That's not possible. <laughs> you want to try me? Carl, you like football also? Huh. Aren't you optimistic, aren't you? Now I'm trying to think. Of, I'm not sure how many uh, communicators we got. Or, uh, was always more comfortable than mine. Uh, not communicators. Uh, locators. Where the fuck it is? Uh, things we got. Because I'm sure we got a fair amount. As I burp again. Man, why the fucking drinking makes me burp a lot? So probably after this, I'm gonna watch some more anime, like I always do. I do like other things in anime. I like uh, Marvel movies, some DC movies, depending on if they're good or not. Some old Western movies, because I sort of grew up on those. Stuff like Beverly Hillbillies, I grew up on that with my dad. Uh, All in the Family, I grew up on that with my dad. Andy Griffith, I grew up on that with my dad. Barney Miller, I grew up with that on my dad. Uh, Three's Company. I grew up on that with my dad. The last stuff I'm talking about, I grew up on with my dad. It's something we always sort of bonded over. Because we love this stuff. We love the laugh. The Cosby Show. Bill Cosby. We grew up on that together. He passed on to me. And I appreciate that stuff. Because he passed on the stuff that he loved. And later on, I'll pass it on also. Because it's excellent. It's excellent stuff. It's stuff that you love to laugh at, because at different times it was a different type of comedy. So I'm still funny now. If you understand it, if you don't, just watch it. It's funny as fucking hell. And I love it. I always will love it. So I remember 
the stuff my dad remind me of. But I've always loved it. I've watched it with him for years. And there's the last recorder. As he sort of jumps forward. You a bit of skip. Oh well. Who really fucking cares? I was gonna skip. That's in the previous parts. Well, aren't you cheerful, Tannis? Patricia, sorry. Really, I can't tell. Bru Bruiser, fuck off. One shock, I'm blasting you're dead. Good. Just, just fucking good. Ammo. Ooh, shotgun ammo. I need that. Let's see. Shotgun ammo. I need that. Go up. Really don't give a fuck about you. Okay, Greg, I got some stuff over here for you. Level 22, <clears throat> which you can use later. Okay, dude, I'm trying to do something here. Fuck off. Greg, where are you? Oh, you're down there. You having fun? No? Hell grenade. I'm sure it'll make your day much, 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 much better. Anyway, as you can tell, I really don't give a fuck about what this dude's doing. Now, let me see. Where do I want to go? Shut up. That shut the fucker up. Now, let me see. I think I'll take a stuff for Gray. Just so he can actually... Use it. And as I say, Geronimo! Now this is probably going to do it for me for now. So I will see you all in the next part. Remember to everyone to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe to me, Greg, and everyone else in the LOA as I draw some weapons for him. And we will all see you in probably the next part, whether it be Destiny, Borderlands, Borderlands 2, so on, so on. There's lots of games we're going to figure out what to do. But until then, take care. As, of course, I say every single freaking time. Was it? Take care. And, of course, like always, everyone. I'm trying to get the word I was going to say. Was it? Oh, yeah. It was. Peace.